I look, I look right though, and I'm like, what? Where'd that come from? Bit on it. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Dang, no big deal. We'll just that one's dead. We'll go kill three more real quick. Go, 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 go. Mm, 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 mm. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back over to the channel. Guess what? Yesterday we actually went out and we we were in a coyote hunting tournament. And this morning we decided we we're gonna do it again, but. It was a little bit, uh, what do I want to say? It was windy yesterday. Not, not making excuses because we did kill some dogs. But I will say it started off real hot, real heavy. I think we had a dog get shot in the first four minutes. Hello, Gabe. I'm here. You all ready to go? Yeah, I'm good. Feel good about myself. How you doing? Good. I'm Rob. And I had a big chunk taken out, so I said, I gotta keep going. <laughs> Tell you what, I don't charge much to get haircuts. Oh God! Yeah, I know. <laughs> we set up. We generally try to work across the end. You know, this is Gabe. This will be you here. So Gabe's shooting area is from here to 12 o'clock. Gabe, your shooting area is from here to 12 o'clock. Since I got a couple of snipers like you, and Gabe, I'm gonna try to let y'all do the shooting. I'm gonna be the caller. What he's saying, he's gonna play clean up. Oh yeah, that's, well, yeah. What that's, we miss. He's, <laughs> it's, it's actually called something. That's funny you drew that out. Really? Yeah. It's a military term for that. <laughs> it's okay, called. Well, <laughs> you may be able to yeah, show it's me. Later. It's called setting up sectors of fire. Well, that's literally what it's called. Sectors of fire. <laughs> on okay. That's hilarious. I like it. Okay, cool. And I just gotta trust you not to shoot me. <laughs> No worries. Yeah. Gabe, okay, look at this. Look at this thing I found. Now well, that's handy. From uh. Yeah, for you. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna give this a shot. I don't know if it's gonna be good or not. So. Down the inside is there. They're either gonna come from there. That's where they're gonna try to get to. The downwind guy. So you and Gabe just decide when you want to in the middle. Let's get it boys. Okay. I did bring you a chair. Yeah. That's fine. Good job, Yeah, thank you. He should be somewhere like unless he got away. <laughs> I feel pretty good about it. But I've never had to go find a coyote in my life. What you see? Nothing. That's that's the bad part. We'll we'll look for him just a little bit. I don't know. You got it. You hit him pretty solid. You just oh, I don't gosh, know. yeah. When I heard the sound, I thought, well, he's dead. That's insane. Stick 30, 30 minutes ago. Stick your finger in it, see that? Which bag it on this that one? I gotta taste it. I don't know if I can get myself to taste it. I'm trying to get Gabe. Gabe might eat it. Rabbit. <laughs> okay, so I never really actually explained what's going on entirely. We're in a coyote hunting tournament, as you guys do know. We need three big coyotes, which that one I did shoot this morning. It's for sure dead somewhere. I mean, it was a pretty good shot in the chest, but I don't know, maybe it just had enough wind. We don't know what side of the wood line it ran into, and we want to hunt so many different spots. They just said, you know what, we have a better chance of shooting three more than finding this one. We'll call one in eventually. <laughs> you think so? We try enough spots, we got to. <laughs> We're numbers people. Think about it, you can't call them in if you're not trying. Yesterday, 
Did you? No, the thing is, is I actually shot something and you guys are too lazy to go look for it. You guys said, no, we're gonna go kill a ton all day. Guess what happened? Hold my gap for me. That's slippery. I would take that real slow. Vines have got me. I don't see him. I don't I don't see. Okay. Right there, right there, right there. Hey, 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 hey. That dog came out of nowhere. Attention the three dogs behind us and another one came bucking out from I have no idea where. Bouncing through the tall grass. Yeah. There was three over here 30 yards. I know. And, and two of them were sitting on their Oh, there were 30 yards? I thought there were 50 yards or so. I look I look right though and I'm like, what where'd that come from? Did you guys stop? I said I said, what in the world did he come from? <laughs> there he is. Well, you wide him up. His, his legs is buckled. I wonder, trying to see, where did I, was he a frontal shot? I can't remember. I think he was. Yeah. There ain't even a hole in him, Rob. Yeah. You scared him to death. <laughs> I heard that impact, bonk, and all he did was, <laughs> I said, say, okay. Pretty cow, though. Right there? No? He's just got a, oh. somewhere in that, that front. That healthy. Yeah, right there somewhere. That might be work coming out. I'm that sure. worked just like it's supposed to. Anything? I thought, hell, they're going to sit right beside Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could have got them on camera. I, uh, <laughs> we had about four foot in front of your gun. I, I could have waxed a couple of them, but it would have yeah. scared the shit out of you. You'd have felt the air off the bullet. I just got a uh, cow piss all over my hand. Hey, now we're really going to call them in yeah. because you got that hey. scent. I do. I got cow piss. All I just picked. Right here on your face. No, that's 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 a legit piss. She just leaked it all over <laughs> onto my hands. I feel like a man now. The end of the year box hunting sale is here right now. Save up to 60% off everything on the site using code Lunkers at checkout. I'm wearing one of the thermal hoodies right now. I'm up here in the snow and I'm staying nice and warm. You guys need to take advantage of the sale. It comes once a year and you could save, like I said, up to 60% off. That's insane. So go check it out. Go to buckshunting.com. I will link it at the very top of the description. Everything, like I said, is on sale. Save up to 60% by using code LUNKERS at checkout. So as we go in this last sit, I'm gonna go ahead and pop you guys over to the rest of yesterday because we sat like 20 times and Gabe actually was able to poke a hole in another one. I don't know why I just touched you like that. I wonder if I can get them on my... A buck. It's not a bad looking buck either. Man, let me see your shoulder. Let me see your shoulder. Oh yeah, look at that buck right there. Good one. Young, tall, he's gone. Oh. Anyway, we'll go ahead and bounce it over to uh, a little bit of yesterday because we were able to put down a, a dog, but we also did a lot of sitting in between. It's now 121. I kind of feel like, you know when you're in those fishing tournaments and you catch a fish on the first cast and you try to get it off of the boat because you know it's bad luck? I feel like that's my current situation. We call on a cow the first four minutes and about, what, almost five and a half, six hours later, we haven't called another one? I'd like to see a rabbit move, a squirrel move, something, <laughs> anything. Yeah. yeah, I think everybody just wants to kill something at this point. I mean, hey, saying I've killed something today. We might just want to go back and go look in the woods for that <laughs> coyote at this point. <laughs> yeah. But, well, yeah. I figured the spots, I said, well, hell, we're going to kill half. That's what he said. Boy. He said, hey, you know, big deal. We'll just, that one's dead. We'll go kill three more real quick. Oh, well. 1.26 p.m. <laughs> Gabe, you need some damn lube, buddy. No, I know it. Like, you need lube pretty bad. Pretty bad. Yeah. Like, real bad. Can you spit on it? Oh. <laughs> 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 you 
there. That worked. <laughs> That's the first time he's done that. Oh, you kind of nailed it just right, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, it was perfect. You landed right in there. <laughs> right in the hole. Oh, heard that one. It's kind of funny. He's the guy that's holding the camera is hanging out with me. And my buddy Gabe just poked one. We have wheeled one coyote down finally. <laughs> Golly, female. That's not real little. I'm gonna say it's kind of just mediocre. It's just a normal cow. Not enough to win the big dog, not small enough to win the little dog. <laughs> Okay, so we finished cow hunting. We came back here. I'll tell you guys right now, myself and Gabe, we have the same exact rifles. They had suppressors on it. His doesn't have a suppressor now because we're shooting a better grouping without a suppressor. It was hard for me to believe that'd be the case. So I came and tried, took mine off, as you guys can tell. One out with a suppressor. I'm shooting like three inch shot groups at 100 yards. You go to that far right one, man. Oh, those rounds are jumping all over the place. Yeah, now take that can off. I just stacked the round on top of the other one. Yeah. Can you imagine? Oh my God. At 200 yards. Oh my God. Can you imagine if that coyote gears to at 200 yards? Yeah. That's literally three shots right yeah. there. After we took it off, I'm shooting sub-minute groupings, I'm stacking rounds, and now I'm re-zeroed at 100, I'm gonna slip the rings real quick. So think about this. This, at that, if I'm shooting one inch, or excuse me, three inches at 100, at 300, we're shooting nine inch shot groups. Nine inch shot groups, that's like Barrett 50 cal standards. That's insane. But this thing really is really nice and really smooth without a suppressor. So it's really windy, and I am going to attempt to shoot some long range, and I know I'm gonna have to do a lot of hold off, a lot. Right over the top. Yeah, right dead center just over the top. Where's that one? I didn't see that one. Right over the top. Still? Really? That was a minute. So it's actually your your that calculation was a bit off. Yeah, so when you adjust it and get the right muzzle velocity in there, it actually makes sense now, huh? Yeah. We're pinging it, so we're good there. Uh, what else can I shoot? 4.5, huh? Wow, did you see how much the wind pushed that round? Right still right off right edge, but it's still short. So between four and five, this thing is losing like a significant amount. Okay, so we're knowing a, uh, I, I'm noticing a slight deviation when you go farther with this caliber. We were throwing, shooting 22, 250. When I was getting to, let's say, I think it was about between four and 500, I was watching a very large deviation with the wind, comparatively speaking, to when it's shorter distance, which is pretty normal. But I'm, I'm, I'm not really used to shooting this caliber. I'm used to like six and a half and 300. So coming down to this one, I, the wind is really pushing it like a lot more than what I would have anticipated. But here at like the, like at the 200 I just shot, that thing's dead on at zero. Like literally don't have to do any dial or nothing. So anything between zero and 200, if it's a coyote, you're pretty much screwed. And like 280, that's like a, a minute or so. I got to like kind of adjust and then past that, it really starts kind of going up. Like four is like four. It's like really like four minus one. So one thing we do have to figure out why with a dang suppressor is this thing turned into a three inch shot group that's probably the number one thing i'm going to ask thank you so much for hanging out with me guys i hope you guys enjoyed these coyote hunting videos myself and gabe are going to be doing a maton especially when i get the ambulance my idea is we go out and we because he's got access to land everywhere imagine us doing some thermal hunting off the top of my ambulance after doing a whole day's worth of hunting when it's snowy and oh it's just so much fun thank you so much i do love you guys <laughs>